Hello, my beautiful souls. Okay, so before we get started with your reading, I just want to share with you a fascinating website I was recently introduced to that helps you discover how compatible you are in relationships, how others perceive you, and also explains how to fully understand your natal chart through astrology and numerology. There is a ton of information waiting for you on this site to help you better understand love, your path, and to help you improve your life. I got my charts done and it is amazingly accurate and extremely informative. The website is called trulydivine.com and they are offering a 30% off discount for all of my subscribers. All you have to do is use code ZEN30 at checkout to receive your discount. I will provide the link and code in the description box below. So peace and love and happy learning. Now let's get started with your reading. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be your love reading for Taurus Sun Moon Rising. Okay, so before we get into it, I just want to say I'm so excited. We are so much closer to reading of uh, reaching 10,000 subscribers and I'm going to be doing a giveaway as soon as we do. So I feel I feel we should be able to do it this month. Um, so May 1st I'll announce the winner. Um, if not, by May 1st, we have 10,000, then it will be shortly in May, okay? So all you have to do to participate is you see that uh, little box there that says subscribe. Click on that. If you like, you can click the notification bell as well so you will stay posted every time I upload a video. Then go to my community tab, and you're going to see a post there that um, explains a little bit more about the giveaway. So I'm giving three readings away, winner's choice. And all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, stay subscribed to my channel. I give daily blessings to everyone that stays subscribed to my channel because I'm that grateful for every single one of you for your love and support. And just comment on that post, anything that you like, and then you will be entered in the giveaway. Okay, so I also have some playlists open. Feel free to go and check that out as well. And if you're interested in private reading or some spell work, you can go to my website, zenwithinme.com. And you can also send me an email at zenwithinme at gmail.com. Okay, Taurus, let's get into your love reading. Okay, guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, please give me clear and concise messages for Taurus, Sun, and Rising. What is going on in Taurus's love life at this time? What does Taurus need to know regarding their love life? messages do you have for Taurus regarding their love life? What is coming up? What do they need to be aware of? What is going on with Taurus? Okay, so we have Knight of Pentacles. I don't read reversals, so don't worry about that. Okay, so we have the Knight of Pentacles here. So this could be your energy with Earth energy. This could be uh, you or someone that you're dealing with that's constant in a situation, trustworthy, reliable, slow but steady movement. If you're looking for some kind of um, timing of communication or contact or meeting up or something like that. It's also something you finally waited for coming in. So again, slow and steady movement. Okay. So I'm going to take the ones that fell on the floor. Okay, so we have here Page of Pentacles. So for some of you, like I said, that were looking to get some kind of communication, could be communication coming in for finances, even though this is a love reading. If I feel the energy to touch based on something else, I will mention that. Okay, so it could be some kind of... Um, financial communication that's coming to you that you've been waiting for maybe with like the stimulus check or unemployment or just getting called back to work or you know some other kind of opportunity something financially related you're going to get some news about that for others i see uh this is you your energy like just being in reflection mode where you're just um going to be focusing on yourself right now like um bettering your body um, your image and you may also be thinking about someone else and their health at this time okay then we have the Queen of Swords here 
So this is an air sign person, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So you may be thinking about um, someone else's health, like I said, um, or just, you know, you have this person on your mind and you may be in reflection mode about them since this is a love reading. It could be, you know, a love relationship that you're in, that you had, that you would like to have with someone. It covers all the bases here. Okay, so if they're not an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, they could just embody that air energy, which is somebody that's just very bold, outspoken, no bullshit, got their shit together kind of gal or guy. Okay, and then the last card we have is the Fool. So this is taking a leap of faith, a positive new beginning, unexpected opportunities. Okay, so for communication, it could be that this person will, like while you're focusing on yourself, for those of you that this resonates with, for those of you that are focusing on yourself and you may be thinking about this person uh, they may unexpectedly reach out to you and um, for whatever reason, they may be taking a leap of faith towards you, okay? Because you look, you see these two heads also are facing like this way and then you have these two that are facing you. So for some of you, this person will be coming towards you. This person is going to be reaching out to you. Okay. Um, it could also be somebody that is a little childlike. So um, they may be just, I don't know, I'm getting like immature and naive. So they may be immature and naive and just reaching out to you. Um, however, that resonates. Okay, so let's go to the Love Oracle deck and see. Can you please give us some more messages in reference to Taurus and their person? Okay, if their person is going to communicate with Taurus, what are they going to say? Why are they going to reach out to Taurus? Okay, why is this person reaching out to Taurus? And like I said, for some of you, you just may be reflecting on your relationship with this person. You may have viewed them as uh, like immature, naive, childlike. You may also be like a standoff at the moment with communication because I see like you guys are staring at each other, but like no one's doing anything, <laughs> you know. It could also be, I'm getting another message here, and this card flipped. I'll read that in a second. It could also be that they are viewing you as immature and childish. And you are, like, viewing yourself as this knight here that's been um, reliable and trustworthy and you feel constant in this situation. So you guys may not be on the same page here with your thoughts of each other. Like you may be thinking, like I said before, also you're thinking they're immature and naive, you know, and they may also be thinking that of you, but you're the one that's like, but I've been the reliable one, you know, I've been the steady one, you know, or you may even be thinking that of them. So you just may not be on the same page for some of you. But question was, um, why are they going to contact you? What are they going to say? Uh, abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. So it is for good news. Okay. And like I said before, you may have somebody reaching out financially. So this could be stay positive. Abundance coming your way. Okay. Money coming in. Whether it's a job opportunity, stimulus, or um, I said it before, unemployment. However it resonates with you. It could even be somebody just giving you money to help out, you know, or like a side job or something that you got, a gig or something like that. Um, so, but keep a positive mindset, okay? Manifest exactly what you want. So if you, if you are waiting for communication from this person, this will come through, okay? For those of you that it resonates with, okay? They may even tell you, you know, that you make them happy, you know, that they feel childlike with you, you know, like that giddiness, you know, and, and they want a positive new beginning. They're going to take that leap of faith, you know, an unexpected opportunity that's coming up, 
you know, that's going to have it so that they can reach out to you or be with you. It's going to resonate differently with everybody. Okay, so we have healing heart here. So healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Okay, so if you had no communication with this person and now they're reaching out, it could be because you guys broke up and they needed some time to heal. Um, they may have felt that the relationship at the time was toxic and they just needed to remove themselves from that because they needed time to heal. And then we have here date, meet someone new, dating, get back out there, plan, set a date. Okay, so it could be that they're going to tell you, okay, um, I started dating someone else because, you know, I needed to heal, our relationship wasn't healthy, so on and so forth. Okay. For others, it could be that they were in a relationship with someone else and they're reaching out to you now to say, hey, you know, we're not together anymore. I would like to get together with you, sit down, talk, have a drink or, you know, dinner, whatever, because, you know, we had a lot of good times together and I would like to, I would like to talk about it, you know. So there's lots of opportunities here for you guys. Okay, let's see. What messages do we have for you, Taurus, from your person? What messages do we have for Taurus from their person? What messages do we have for Taurus from their person? Okay, thank you. Okay, we have Ancient Wisdom. So I feel like this person has really been... Um, going within to think about things to really, I'm getting like find themselves and to connect with, it could even be family members, you know, like older people, doesn't have to be family, but like older people I'm getting, they've been talking to, to try and get like that, that wisdom to get their opinion in the situation, uh, between you guys to see, well, am I wrong feeling this way? Am I wrong reacting this way? You know, just asking somebody older and wiser for their advice in this situation. Somebody that has more experience, okay? And then the shadow. So for some of you, um, there's just things happening behind the scenes that you're not aware of. And I'm feeling also like their message to you with the shadow is like they have things within themselves that they haven't shared with you. And I'm, I'm hearing like they still have you deep inside their heart, but it's hidden. Like they're, they're hiding it. Okay. Either that, for, like for those of you that that resonates for others, it could be that they feel you were hiding things that you were hiding things in the shadow and they were talking to somebody about it. I'm also getting that they their message to you is you need to go deep within and uh, you need to deal with your, your demons, your shadows, your darkness because they feel that that you have not you haven't really like Dove into yourself to learn the deepest part of yourself. They may be feeling that you, um, I'm trying to find the right words, that you have this darkness inside you and you don't want to own it, so you'll pawn it off on other people. You'll be like, no, it's not me, it's you. And they're... they're message to you is no you have a dark side you got your own shadows and demons that you need to deal with you can't pawn that off on everybody else and you need to go and talk to somebody you need to go and get that ancient wisdom within yourself to put some light on your shadows okay so for those of you that that resonates with okay what are the messages do we have for Taurus here from the love and connection deck kind of connections does Taurus have with this person? Okay, let's see. So we have cooperation here. 
In your quest to manifest the energy of love, you realize that every person and experience has value. So you are meant to learn from your experience with this person. And I feel your lesson is to learn cooperation. Okay, it's not all about what you, what you want or just what they want. It's cooperation. It's what you both want. Okay, it's never supposed to be one-sided. So you always have to think about the other person. If you're like, yeah, well, I really don't want to do that, but they bend to do things that you want to do, well, then you're not cooperating. You think you are, but you're not. Cooperation means sometimes doing something the other person wants to do if it's going to make them happy, as long as they do that for you as well. So, for example, if they're not a big baseball fan and you are, they'll go to a game with you because it would make you happy and they, they care about you, so fine, they'll, they'll cooperate. Okay, you go, I'll go to a baseball game with you, but then you come to a ballet with me. You may not like the ballet, but it's not about you, it's about the two of you together. So you gotta have that cooperation. If you're gonna be a couple, you do things together. So, you know, sometimes you, you have to cooperate. You guys understand what I'm saying, okay? If it's always like, no, 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 you go by yourself, then where's the couple, you know? So you come with me to my things, but I'm not going to go with you to your things. That's not cooperating. Okay, release. You have the ability to give over unwanted energies to the loving forces of the universe. Okay, so you have this shadow, like I said before, that you need to release. Okay, so you guys have to work on that if you haven't already. For those of you that this resonates with, you have to work on your shadows, your demons, your inner self that you don't want to own up to, that you don't want to face, that you feel it's too much work, or if you're just like, man, nah, it ain't me, you should really take a look at that. And being that everyone's in quarantine right now, you got plenty of time to check that out and figure it out. Okay, and then we have freedom. You are releasing any self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness. So with freedom here, you're being told to love freely, wear your heart on your sleeve, okay? Don't hide, release all the negativity, release all of your worries of, oh, but what if I, I hand my heart out, I can get crushed. Yeah, but you need to love freely if you wanna be loved freely in return. It's a give and take, and then look, it all comes down to cooperation. So if you give your heart to the right person, then that right person will give theirs right to, back to you. And there you have that beautiful cooperation, that release of negativity, and that freedom to love and get love in return. Okay. That might be one of your shadows that you're not willing to deal with that you're going to have to. So you're going to have to get some of that, that wisdom from within, speak to somebody, do whatever it is that you need to do. But you, you need to dissipate this, this shadow within yourself this dark energy because it's not helping you it's hurting you and you're missing out you know okay let's see what other messages do we have for Taurus at this time okay what's going on with Taurus and their person Thank you. Okay, so we have work through your fears. Can they be any more obvious? Work through your fears. Okay, new moon in Scorpio. So you may be dealing with a Scorpio or it may simply be the moon phase, new moon in Scorpio, new moon phase, or just the message work through your fears, however it resonates with you guys. So if you're new to my channel, thank you. Please subscribe. How I read my moonology cards is it could just be the message that's meant for you the next phase of the moon or look to see when is new moon in Scorpio because this is a timeless reading so everyone's going to be viewing this at different times okay and the other <laughs> ay, ay, ay. it's time to release negativity full moon in Scorpio okay you may even have Scorpio in your chart but we got new moon and full moon in Scorpio here telling you it's time to release your negativity and it's time to work through your fears, which is exactly what we got here with the love and connection deck and uh, the oracle cards. So this may be that blockage that this person feels that you have, this shadow, that maybe this is why things didn't work out in the past, okay? 
And if you work on these things, then it will help you in the next relationship so history doesn't repeat itself. Okay, but I do see for some of you, like I said, um, there's someone that you're thinking about, whether it's you thinking about bettering yourself, you're focusing on yourself, doing your thing, and then this person is going to just unexpectedly reach out to you. Um, for some of you, they are wanna, they are going to want to get together. They may be healing from um, a breakup and you make them happy and they want to reach out and say, hey, well, let's talk about that, you know. Um, some of this energy may be their energy. So also in my readings, if you're new here, the energy can always be flipped. Okay. All right. So let's get some initials here and see who is Taurus dealing with. Can you please give us some initials of Taurus's person? Now this is person, place, or thing. It's however it connects you with your person. Okay, we have the letter D. not any initials in their name. Maybe they live on a street with the letter D. Have a nickname. I'm getting Diego. F. I'm hearing Feeny. I don't know if somebody is, is a fan of that show, Boy Meets World, and, you know, they like that character that's like, Feeny! I forgot his name, but... However, that resonates. Then we have M. So we have like a divine masculine and divine feminine here. And E. Somebody may be a Democrat or work for um, the Fed. Or something in the medical field. I'm also seeing EPMD. And if you remember that group from like back in the 90s, hip hop. So maybe they like a song from them. Or this is something related to someone from that band. I also touch on celebrity stuff that comes out in my readings. Because they're people too. So if you uh, happen to be a celebrity and you want a private reading, you can go to my website, zenwithemmy.com, and get your reading there. Or send me an email, zenwithemmy at gmail. Everything is private. I don't fangirl and rave and rant and open my mouth. So <laughs> it's all professional and private here. Okay, so that is all I have for you. Thank you so much, Taurus, for liking, sharing, watching, and subscribing. Peace and love. Stay safe and connected. Now we'll see you in the next reading.